Hello, welcome to Strawberry Island Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we've got Proverbs 26, 20. Without wood, a fire goes out. Without gossip, a quarrel dies down. So, yeah, just, again, I tend to, to gravitate towards Bible verses that remind me to hold my tongue. Um, and just, you know, watch my words, that kind of stuff. So today we've got that. Um, all right. There's a lot going on and a whole lot of nothing. So off the hook, let me grab this. Okay. So I have these done. I just have them stacked together. Um, and I had on the hook a second one that looked like this. Well, I got that second one done and I had enough to make like a little headband cowl. I pull them down around my neck and then pull them up over my ears and they're just, I like to do them ribbed so that they stretch a lot. Oops. Uh, sorry. Dropped it. So I had enough out of that one to do that. Well, then I had the white one that I showed you and I wanted to be able to make two headbands out of it. Well, it had enough that I also could make like a little rib cow, not a very big one, but a good enough one. Then I went to the dye pods. All right. So I dyed this one and I do tend to dye them flat because I like to be able to sew them up. So you'll see long tails and that's so I can sew them up and make them, you know, like so. Okay. And then I'll just take this, but I want them to dry flat. So I tend to do that when I've done them. So I did a aqua reef looking color, light blue, whatever you want to call it. Then I did a red, ruby red, and I did it. And these are still damp, so I'm laying them flat. And then I had the purple ribbed and I just haven't taken this tail and woven it in. And I did this one. It's purple and it's very nice. I like it. But when I got done, um, I had kind of overshot cause I don't small batch dye a lot. So I had a lot of purple left over. So I took the earmuff like this. It has the red and the speckles in it and I dyed it and it really turned out cute. I don't know if you can see the pops of red. So it started out like this, ended up like this. So yeah, um, I got those done. I am now still working on the acrylic ones. Uh, that's all I'm probably going to do for the wool unless I have time to do the brown ones. Um, and the real wool, uh, I still have this one that is on the hook. Uh, I should be able to get it done tonight. It, it's just, I'm working on it. So I've got this one. And then I started on ponytail or messy bun hats. And, and I started on this one last night, I believe. And so I've got it. And I like these to be very form fitting. I like them to hold my hair like so. And so I just need to get it. I've got a few more rows to go, as you can tell. Um, but it'll come down and be, uh, I just like it to be like, almost like a swim cap. Um, because I, the whole point of those is to hold your hair in place. And so I like to have it all against my head. And, but I don't know that that I'm just playing with that. I don't know that I'll ever make any like that. I'm going to look and see if I can find a pattern that's cuter than that and just adapt it. So I'll find a cute, um, hat pattern and adapt it to be a ponytail one. So I have all of these and I think honestly, that's going to be enough for the ear warmers. For now. Okay. It depends on what I have time to do. Um, now I did 
make, let me see here. And some of these I don't know if I've showed you, okay? I don't know. So I have this and this done. And I don't know if I showed you this last week. If I had them done last week, I'm losing track. So I have these two. If we saw them last week, well, there they are again, okay? So I have those two bags done. And they're just little totes. So I've got those done. Um, then I got... And I got my little rear end gear. I'm holding, hang on here. All right. So just so you know, I still haven't gotten my Joanne's order. All right. So all of that pre-authorization and stuff, haven't gotten it. Um, it's stalled out someplace in Mi Minneapolis, I think it said, or Indianapolis. I can't remember. But all right. So I have... This little drawstring guy. Oops, he's got a string. Okay, and it's kind of a wintry scene. And I've got him done. And these are all different sizes. Okay, so this one. Now this and this were part of the Joann's order, but they were shipped separately. That's why there was the 242, 240. I don't know. Anyway, so I got these and I made these two little bags um these are just gift bags that you know you can put anything in or little pouches i i don't know what you want to call them but okay and then i have this and i decided to do them in different sizes instead of just making you know seven or eight all the same size i did several in different sizes so i've got this one and this one. I've got some that don't have ribbon left in them. Um, I did gold ribbon in some, and I did black ribbon in others, just what I had. Um, I do have to go and buy some more white and black ribbon. I tend to stick to those two for this kind of stuff. So I have those drawstring bags. Button here. There. Okay, sorry, I I don't have a whole lot of place to put it. Um, then I did make a bunch of red ones. I found some red, and I thought Christmas solid. Um, so I've got several sizes. What I don't have is all the ribbon and stuff in them. So some of them are at this stage. Some of them are actually complete. Um, yeah. So I have all of those that I've worked on and done, and yeah. Uh, get those in there. All right. I have too much stuff in this corner that where I'm recording, so sorry about that. Um, I did work on, and I don't know if I showed you this last week, I did a little gift card holder, and I attempted to put a little... Um, vinyl pouch for your ID on the front. I'm not liking the way it came out. It just makes it look weird. And so I attempted, and who knows, a little kid someplace might need this. <coughs> I attempted another one with this. And I like the way it came out better. Um, I just have the little pocket here, and then I have the little ID pouch here. And then, of course, it folds over like a wallet. And it is unicorns and castles and rainbows. So, um, we'll see. I'm not going to make a whole lot of this kind of stuff. But it's fun to kind of play and see what, what I can come up with. So, I do have that. Now, I uh, ran out of thread. Okay, how does this concern us today? Well, I didn't really run out of thread. I ran out of thread on my bobbins for my sewing machine okay so i googled how to use um my serger thread the big cones for my sewing machine to see if it could be done i was like can i wind these i was actually thinking can i wind the old spool with thread you know on the winder anyway turns out not really um, 
the little thing for my bobbin is too short and the so it winds just the bottom and the spool is like that tall so yeah short answer it can be done but not very feasible uh so when i did look to see what people were doing and how people were doing it this one lady had a little tutorial and she says you're just gonna have to you can buy a 20 dollar kit or you can just make something and she put a cup with a ruler with a hole and and i was like okay so you know me country girl deluxe uh, i'm like hmm looks like a bale of wire thing so i took bale of wire and this is made from parts i have here at the house okay i did not go out and buy anything i did not um do and you'll see it's very crudely made i plan on changing it a little bit and when i first made it it was really tall but okay so here's what i came up with so your thing i have this here in the center and my cone sits over it then i have this that kind of it keeps it from moving around and then i have the tall thing with the eye and it goes up when i like i said when i first made it i made it really tall because i didn't know how tall to make it but i made this let me see if i can move this around. I made this so that it sits about this much above the sewing machine okay so it does sit a little bit above um and it does draw it up it's got the little eye it does really good um the issue of course with any new invention is this bottom right here so it doesn't sit flat and the weight of the cone isn't enough to get it and i could not get it to sit flat enough like i tried flattening out the wire and it still bobbled and i couldn't get if i get one wire flat and the other one went the other way so i had this little bracket that i had from another project and i thought hmm if i only had a big washer you know that would help but yeah i couldn't find a washer so i had this thing so I put it down here and, went, and got it down and I left about two or three rounds down there the the close together ones that were really making it cattywampus and I put this on the corner now turns out this little dude fits right up against my sewing machine it is perfect and it puts this at the perfect uh, angle for where my um, thread needs to come in so I have this little thing with this and then this goes up over here and then threads into my machine normally and I put it to the back corner and it's just right there where um, my thread should come out with the spool so I am very happy with my little invention and like I said, y'all know me, it's bailing wire. <laughs> and it it works great. It honestly works great. So I will not run out of um threads again. Just won't I just put it back. So but yeah, it, it works perfect and I'm just like, yay. But the key to using these, as I found out, is you just need something high enough that it can because these are made to to spool off the top and they're too big to fit on your uh, sewing machine and if you have one like mine that you pull up the little thing and you slide this on it pulls from the side these don't pull from the side very well um, because the cones aren't made to spin they're not light enough to spin okay they can on your finger but your sewing machine it makes the tension really off and really so they're made to pull upwards so just make sure that you've got it, you know, in a way that it'll pull upwards and you can use them. Just saying. But I was, I am really proud of my little invention there. <laughs> and I didn't have to run back and go get small things, of spool, uh, small spools of thread. So the only thing that I have left that I need to switch out 
the thread on the serger. I have white on their nail, and I have, as you see, my black is in here. I just haven't switched it. I still have this one to stitch up. Um, and like I said, it's it just needs to be stitched. And then I have these that need to be stitched. Uh, I've got to stitch the tops first, and I need to switch the black on my sewing machine as well to do these. Um, and then these are going to be the gift bags. Remember I told you I had that uh, paw print material left over. And I just made varying sizes, you know, and it made four or five. So, yep. I got those to do and these to do. And then I need to get the hats done and then I'll go from there. So. All right, just a real quick update. Um, RJ made the PRCA. He did Kansas, Kansas state finals this weekend in Dodge City. He was up there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He came home. Last performance was Sunday afternoon. It was on the Cowboy Channel. So if you watch the Cowboy Channel, you got to see him rope. Um, I have to leave a little bit early. That's why I'm. I think I'm talking fast, but it's because I know that I'm under a time crunch. Uh, I got to go do something with my hair, my makeup, and I have to be to the mechanics at eight to have my car AC checked out. I'm going to try and get that fixed. Uh, and so, yeah, it's just a bunch of little things, but I am going to get off here because I do have to get my car to the mechanic. Still got to do my hair. So. I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching and I will update you more as I make more. Bye.